What's going on good people? Today I'm going to show you how to install a keypad deadbolt. This is going to be a short video because this stuff is pretty easy. First things first, we have to measure our door to make sure our unit will fit. The first measurement is to take the edge of the door to the center of the deadbolt and that needs to be two and three quarters or two and three eighths inches. And we have two and three eighths. Our second measurement is from the center of our deadbolt to the center of the doorknob itself. That needs to be five and a half at minimum, and we are good there. If your measurements are different than specified in the instructions, refer to the manufacturer. They should have alternate instructions for you. Also, another quick tip, tape your instructions to the wall. Now we need to remove our deadbolt. There's two screws here and two screws here. Once those screws are removed, you can remove the face plate and you should have a couple more screws to remove at that point. Good idea to go on the other side and hold with your hand this part right here so it doesn't fall down on you. Probably won't, but still a good idea. If the other side of your deadbolt cover isn't coming off, Give it a few love taps and that'll help it along. Just like that. There we have it. Now we can remove the inner parts of our deadbolt. Just pull it on out. Because we measured two and three eighths inches from the outside of the edge of the door to the middle of the deadbolt, the factory setting on length is correct. However, if it would have been two and a half, we would have simply had to extend it by twisting. No need for that, we'll leave it at the factory setting. Also, it's very important to leave the sticker on. If the bolt becomes retracted at any time, the bolt re might remain unlocked. Next, you'll need to determine if you have a mortar style faceplate or a circular faceplate. In this case, if your door looks like mine, you have a mortise faceplate, like the one shown here. If not, you'll need to take a screwdriver and pry this mortise faceplate off and replace it with the circular one. Now let's install the new bolt. Make sure you have the top on the top. Here's a tip. Tape up the faceplate of your deadbolt. That way it won't fall out on you. Now let's install the keypad. Here's another tip. This will probably fall out from time to time, but this just fits in just like that. So we'll route our wire over the bolt and make sure our tail piece is in. Then slide it right through the door. There we go. Now it's time to install the base plate. It's easily marked to figure out what side goes against the door and what side faces out. Also something very important um, is this cam must be facing up and down, not left to right. Your door will not function properly if this is out of position. So we'll take our wire, feed it right through there. Just like that. Now we'll just simply screw it in with the provided screws. Also, don't use a power drill on this. You don't want to strip these out on accident. Now it's time to install the battery and connect the wires. Simply do that. Just push together. Now we'll install our battery. Just like that, you can hear the unit activated. And this battery will fit in this holder right here. And we'll tuck the wires. After you've got the wires tucked, it's time to put on the cover. So our pin right here, just fit into this slot right here. And now take the provided screws and install our cover plate. Now we'll install the final screws onto the face plate. Now let's run a test to make sure that it works. 
put in my code. Works. Let's see if we put in an incorrect code. Won't work. The final step in this project is to install our strike plate and our reinforcement plate. Some homeowners may not opt to take this step, but it will increase the security of your home if you do. In my case, my strike plate is a little misaligned and not very secure, so I am going to take this step. However, that is another video altogether, so please click on the thumbnail at the end of this video to watch me tackle that. Okay, and that is it everyone. 15 to 20 minutes of your time, a screwdriver and a tape measure is all you need to complete this project. And if this video helped you, please help me and hit the subscribe button. Also, if you want to watch me install the reinforcement plate along with the strike plate, please click the thumbnail here. But hit the subscribe button first, alright? It helps a lot. Thank you.